what makes the sun different and more special at Angkor. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west, a normal unsurprising phenomenon that people have been able to witness morning and evening since the dawn of time. This happens two times a day, every day, and everywhere. So what makes sunrises and sunsets in the Onko Archaeological Park unique? Why should people spend hours on roads or in planes just to be at the Onko Wat Temple at the right time? This is a question that may challenge what are, after all, everyday and everywhere moments of daily life. As the sun is still in the sky and the earth rotation has not dramatically changed, observing these two daily phenomena in Angkor Park goes beyond just experiencing the beauty of the astronomical bodies. It is witnessing human ingenuity and engineering capability. And especially in one case, it is also witnessing an understanding of astronomy 800 years ago. Angkor Park, which was the center of power of the Khmer Empire from the 9th through the early 15th century, is today an archaeological site covering an area of roughly 400 square kilometers, encompassing villages, millennium-old temples, water reservoirs, canals, pagodas, and natural scenery. The park was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992 due to its importance for humanity. Twice a year, the central and tallest tower of the Angkor Wat Temple appears crowned by a ball of fire that emerges in the sky above this 12th century monument. In March and in September, this phenomenon known as Equinox attracts people from the country and from across the world who stand shoulder to shoulder on top of the cruciform structure and along a stone causeway, and face east towards the crown of the fire appear above the temple's tower in the sky. This does not happen by chance. It was the Angkorian architects and engineers of the time who calculated with precision where to position the tower so this would take place. A matter of perfect symmetry so that this body in the sky would appear above this element of the temple for hundreds of years to come. In addition to erecting the temple, with this awe-inspiring accuracy, these architects and engineers built Angkor Wat itself differently than other temples. According to customs and for religious purposes, important monuments at the time had to be constructed facing east to welcome the rising sun. However, Angkor Wat faces west, which was a rare engineering choice during the Khmer Empire. Therefore, in addition to the equinox, visitors, Cambodians and foreigners alike, often gather in front of the main entrance of the temple to watch the sunrise. A few hundred years older than Angkor Wat, this mountain temple rises high above the surrounding lowlands of rice paddies, with the five towers of Angkor Wat 
visible in the distance, and the golden reflection of the large, ancient man-made West Marai water reservoir to the west. Constructed in the shape of a tiered pyramid with central shrines, auxiliary shrines, and supporting towers, Phnom Bakain stands on top of a mountain, making this temple one of the best locations to watch the sunset in Siem Reap. which is a large temple built of laterite with towers in bricks of intense orange color, is another location from which to have a memorable view of the sunset. While lesser known than the Bakain temple and built on an artificial mountain less high than that of the Bakain, Rairup offers a view of undisputed beauty of the village's rice fields and clusters of palm trees. Being in close proximity of the fertile land along the East Barai Reservoir, once filled with water, right next to Kampongkadai Temple, which was built as a Buddhist monastery in the 12th century, is the Sasrong Water Reservoir. While smaller and much more human size than the West Barai and East Barai reservoirs, Strasrong is surrounded by village life and local restaurants, rattan stores, pagodas, and many smaller temples hidden behind the villagers' houses. Strasrong is another option for tourists to choose from to view the sunset in Ongo Park. So is the temple of Phnom Krang. Dilapidated and invaded by trees, this temple built in the late 9th century CE stands right on the edge of a hill and the floodplain of the mighty Tunle Sab Lake. One of the best options to view the sunset from a hill, the temple is surrounded by wetland on one side and rice paddies on the other. With its many canopies of trees, Phnom Krau provides visitors with a much more private experience as they can sit along the slope of the mountain or on wooden benches overlooking the lake as the sun descends slowly. The Jongkni floating village where fishermen lived with their families in steered houses built to remain above water even during the rainy season and the Buddhist monastery near the top of the mountain are other locations where visitors can go to watch the sunset in a truly Cambodian setting. Ongo has a great deal to offer, from sunrise to sunset. <laughs> 